Now he recalled, as you will observe, some of the experiences. But let's just see what happens now. I'm talking to you. Follow my suggestions 100%. You agree? You agree. When you come back, your mind will be a complete blank, and you won't recall anything at all that occurred last night. It'll just be gone. But when you hear the sound, you return again into trance. Now, I'm going to just leave you alone, and I'm going to sit over here on the stool. I want you to slowly begin to arouse yourself. Where have you been? Here. Uh, yes. Here. Uh, now, uh, we want to have a little interview with you yeah. about uh, your experiences last night on the stage. Would you please tell me what you did on the stage? I mean, what, what happened here? Uh, no, you, uh, you, uh, you did certain things on the stage. And uh, we just want to know the audience is very curious about. Uh, I was on stage and <laughs> we were just coming to stage. That was it. <laughs> well, you 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 think about it a moment. Um, I had a professor of psychology years ago. And she told me that, in her opinion, amnesia sometimes occurs spontaneously in a hypnotic condition. But if you really want it to happen, you have to suggest it occurring. Now, what's interesting, here is a mental phenomena, but the reaction of the body is very entertaining. Uh, let me follow this a little further and see what you can do with this. This type of thing. In just a moment, you're going to come back with us here and now. You'll feel perfectly normal. But you, you have no idea where you are or what your name is. It's just gone from your mind completely. When you bring yourself out of hypnosis now, let, let the inner mind take care of that. You, you can direct it if you wish to, and probably on the stage show, you probably will. But it's interesting to let the inner mind do the th uh, Sir, I'm awfully glad you're here today, and uh, you realize what this gathering is for. <laughs> well, what I don't quite understand, sir, is why are you here then if, you're not, if this isn't your group? Maybe you're in the wrong room in the hotel. Well, that looks more like no, that's, all, it, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, would, you, would you do me the favor, though, since you are here, to identify yourself? Who are you? I'm me. No, no, I know you're you, but what is your name? You must have some name identification. Uh, and you please take notes on this because we want to know who yeah, the stranger is. is. Who? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. I think. Are you sure that's you? It's a badge. It's what? It's a badge. It's a what? Yeah. Badge. It's a fake. Yeah. It's a badge. It's a badge. Yeah. So it must. That's who I am then. Did you ever hear of a person by the name of Sean Hammond? No. You, you never heard of that person? No. Well, then uh, this badge does not belong to you. You must have got the wrong badge here. Isn't that true? So yeah. I'll, take, I'll take off that badge. Well, everyone else has got a badge. We'll let uh, Chuck take it. There I go. Uh, because we can't have you falsely identified. But we must know who you are. What is your actual real name? Why? What's that? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Well, uh, 
on the woman you want to know why there's a man back there who's something a very official and he's a hotel management mm -hmm. and he wants to have identification of the people that come into his hotel because they've been having a little trouble here and uh, they want to identify everyone so that that's the main reason oh, right. yeah yeah so what names are you use Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he he trusts me. I don't know why he trusts me, but he doesn't. He well, was just give him any name then. Huh? Just give him any name. I can give him any name. Just make one up. Isn't that interesting how the mind conjures its own reasoning around a situation? What has been developed? Watch. When I stop my fingers by your ear, you'll know where you are, who you are, all about yourself. Hello. Right. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you a lot for coming up. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Well, that's the reason why people get absent-minded in hypnosis. They go into a they go into a sort of a condition, like when you're driving along in a car, as Jerry mentioned yesterday, and there, there's that repetition of bumbody 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 bump on the engine and so forth. And it, it, it lulls the mind away from the reality of the situation. Well, this was done deliberately by suggestion.